back in semi-final number two here at the male Rip Curl Pro Portugal. The matchup in the water, Kyle Ibelli versus our defending champ and the guy we just saw in that polo blue power moment, Italo Ferreira. And then the first wave here of Italo Ferreira. Well, you can see what he's looking to do. Up and over. This time, not complete for him, just a 1.07, but that was massive. And if he could stomp one of those, where do you go with the scale? Big one for Kayo, as well as Ichilo, but more so for Ichilo, I really believe, as you see him looking at this one. Kayo Belly on the backhand. Nice dagger to the lip. Up late for the second hit goes down. Looking at conditions, nice and glassy. First wave for Kayo Belly here, first turn. Very nicely done, but late to the second, loses control and goes down. Yeah, dynamic exercises, you know, fast twitch muscles and quick Box spring. jumps. Talk about quick spring. A couple times to the lip on the backhand. Italo Ferreira sticking to the face here, but just bangs away. Four back-to-back -back backhand lippers looking dangerous. Well overhead wave, a lot of power in it, comes straight off the bottom and just goes to work and out of every turn, he's just gaining speed through those turns. He's coming out of them and he's just blasting the lip. And this is way down the beach, you guys, way on the south end of the area. Kelly Slater, Lee Sanderson, uh, Frida Zamba, uh, CJ Hobgood, all coming from the East Coast and they all develop their skills in, in smaller waves. Ibelli. Goes for the carve, gets a little unstuck, pulls it back underneath his feet, back up to the lip again, big finish for nice. Ibelli, answering back to Italo Ferreira. I can't wait to see this slow-mo, because he looked like he was falling off that board and somehow kept it together. But a beautiful way, but it comes into the foamy area, so he slams it, and then he pokes the nose into the soup, but then controls it and comes out of it. Really hard to do, a lot of core strength involved there, and wherewithal, where his board's at, where his hips are over it. Beautiful work. Back foot comes off on that layback a la Tom Curran. Whoever wins the Mayo Rip Curl Pro will take that yellow Jeep Leaders jersey going to Pipeline. Ferreira up and riding. Already has an eight point score. Throws it in the air, puts it back on the mouth. That's just not just fair. Just catlock like, you know, that was incredible. <laughs> Pretty much any moment, uh, the pop that he gets off the lip down the line on the inside right here is absolutely amazing. I mean, he bones it out, lands on the nose, and, and it was was like second nature. It wasn't even a thought that he was gonna make it. He was coming out of this just so simply. Uh, and when they, they push on the front foot, they move that front foot onto the, the nose of the board so that the back fins stay out of the water. So it's incredible to have that ability to turn really cruddy waves into scores. Kaiwi Belly up and riding. We're still waiting for the scores on his previous wave. You can see that in the graphic there. One hit on the backhand for Ibelli. Judges still deliberating on wave number two for Kaiwi Belly. Era in the lead. Kaiwi Ibelli looking down the line. Nothing happening there. And I do recall that he had mentioned, Itzlo was mentioning in his interview, that he was having troubles walking with pain, right? It's incredible. You know, a little power of the faith and uh, some rest. You can do a body wonders. He barely continues to surf, but nothing going there again. So is this going to be some small scores adding up for Kyle Belly in his challenge against Italo? Italo with the lead and priority. Yep, that would have been 2017 on the Gold Coast where these two were last matched up. Ibelli looking for a ramp down the line. Boost it. Double grab into the flats and stomps the landing. Nice. <laughs> well, again, we've seen this, though. I mean... Having Kolohe and Dino in the box, he was talking about the big straight airs. As hard and as difficult as they are, don't always necessarily translate into big numbers. He did, let's see if he gets the double grab here, Strider. Well, and, he, and that will take away a little bit of the technical part of it. He's definitely got more speed than you could imagine. And he, the distance carried on a straight air and to control your board underneath you is really hard. So he has the perfect lift off, grabs. Let's go for the, the landing. Lands kind of in tran down at the bottom of the, the transition. Really hard to do. Italo Ferreira throws it up, goes down. Still waiting for score for Kawi Belly. The one thing that may hamper that score, Peter, is you elite alluded to it, the double grab. Ferreira winds up off the bottom. Little chop to the lip there. Slash on the backhand again. Just surfing his way through this wave. Maybe a bit pulled back 
but looking to acquire just above a mid-range score of a 6.86. It's a, a little bit of a smaller wave, although it's well overhead. First turn, pretty nice. That was a money turn right there. The rest of it was kind of clean up, so no, I, I don't see it going where, where he wants it to go. The first turn was uh, was pretty solid, but I feel like it was a little mistimed. He, Kyle in the barrel, traveling through here, and unfortunately can't find the exit. Big the opportunity. Man. Thought the Miracle Man was going to find an exit out of there. Italo off the bottom, slashes off the top, back there for the float, gets the rock and roll up in the lip. Still looking for a 6.86. Flying above. Ferreira takes off on a right-hander, looking for the ramp down the line, still searching, busts into the air, full rotation, gone bad, incomplete. What happened? <laughs> As we see Ferreira working his way down the line again, goes to the air, stomps it on the roof, and this time goes complete. <laughs> there you go, Pete. All right, we got to see it now, huh? I'm Showtime, we call him Showtime for a reason. This is Italo Ferreira on the replay. Is this enough, Strider? That's, yes. It is. Well, I was... A, a pretty perfectly greased landing on the top of that lip. I think he even dialed it down a notch. He barely finds the left. He goes to the air, launches. <laughs> no hope for that one. Are we at Red Bull Airborne? Pete, sounds like we were all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've been told. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> right? I'm always right. Stop you're it. you're the professor. Decision time for Kyle Ibelli with priority. He's gonna utilize that priority. Here he goes. Goes to the air, oh. has to throw it away. Oh, you, you just don't know in that moment. You gotta roll the dice. You say, well, you know what? It's a closeout, go ahead. There's decision time. Italo Ferreira, frothy little left, throws it in the air like he does, goes down. So now the door opens for Kyle Ibelli. Ibelli, again, needing that excellent score of an eight-point ride. Probably wasn't the wave that was going to, you know, help his scoreline, but he took away the chance, and now Kyle has it. Ibelli answers back quick, throws it to the air. Didn't really look like he had much of a chance on that wave. Interesting that he was so quick to utilize his priority strider. Wave coming through here. Again, it's going to be decision time. Ferreira utilizes priority, winds up off the bottom. Big fin throw and spins it around, revert. Blue foot, Ferreira. Uh, Kyle, job done through Europe, and Ichilo, job done for him, because now we've got a final that is just massive. we got a massive final coming up for the men's. It's going to be Jordy Smith versus Ichilo Ferreira. We're going to decide our women's final when we return. Semi-final number one for the women will be in the water.